Hi, welcome to another beautiful day in Chesterfield. Uh, I was flicking through the videos the other day and I realised that I've not done an update on the filter system. And a couple of people have been asking about it, so I thought I'd do a quick run through of what the filter system was at the moment, where it goes, where it comes from, and uh, how it works. So if you want to uh, pop with me, follow this way, I'll show you what we've got. I've got the filter house that was outdoors once upon a time on the bare stone but now as you can see it's uh, all boarded out and doing a bit. We'll start at the beginning, you've seen this before this is the water in, comes from the house goes up through the via system and into a air tank or a water system tank just a four gallon one with a ballcock in there that keeps the same level as the pond through there obviously and the water then balances through the valve here tops it up as and when we'll start with the main drain the main drain is down there I'm not sure if you can see it and that comes across at a bit of a diagonal angle down here there's a sweeping 90 there through this 4 inch bore valve continues under the filter and then comes up there the bore valve into the Profi Premium Compact you can see there the overflow on the waste pipe goes there which goes back down under there along here to a drain off I'll show the drain off or I'll explain the drain off to you later System working as it is. The water comes out of there through an inch and a half pour valve down to sweeping 90s into pump one, which is a Pond Expert Ferry Flow 20,000. That goes then through the UV through the heater that's set at about 18-19 degrees but obviously as you can see the temperature is 21.9 so that's not actually running at the moment and then it goes out the wall oh, you can see there and then down under planters just see the ball valve there and then sweeping 90 and I'm not sure if you can see it down there at mid level return into the pond on the shelf above the filter are two Seco air pumps one feeds the air for the Profit Clear Premium only, and the other one is a pond air, and that comes to there, changes to the rubber braided hose, and then down the floor to the bottom drain. The air pump and the Evo are uh, controlled up here. I've got a Matsuko switch box timer for half of it and then I've got a Matsuko switch box timer plus PG for the other one. Two pumps, filter pump on the left and the skimmer pump. We'll get to the skimmer pump next. Matsuko supply is for those two and they'll go down via the trunk in under here and feed that way. The heat supply is there with its own supply from the control panel from the distribution board consumer panel, that's the word I was looking for and that feeds the heater 
the skimmer so back of this little trap door the skimmer's in there the water comes down inch and a half pipe there's a sweeping bend there that takes it parallel with the pond under here and then there's a 45 there and then it comes up and a 90 there into another pond expert very flow 20,000 pump what I can do here is uh, if I'm doing any maintenance on the filter or the backy shower I can close it off here and open that one and that one and the water will just run straight back to the pond at mid-level return or as it is at the moment it goes up inch and a half pipe into the pond expert auto or spin clean auto 20,000 that comes out and it goes here and it can either go down and into the pond there's another ball valve there or it can do as it is at the moment and that goes out to the backy shower just there the backy shower comes from the filter inside out the side of the wall up and and in there and that side of it is a feeder as I mentioned earlier the auto feeder is fed there on a timer and that runs for between 5 and 15 seconds every two hours from 6 o'clock in the morning till 8 o'clock at night and then it will have the occasional top up by hand from myself Controls for the Profit Clear Premium Compact are here so I can if I need to do a manual thing Clear the filter going Turn the silent at the moment working on the unit cleaning the surfaces anyway and of course I've got scattered around there's always the speaker we've got speakers in the garden speakers in the shed speakers in here last but not least on this side up at the top there's a Senai web server unit that connects via the Wi-Fi of the house so I can check the temperatures around a few parameters that's a cable that comes out this side, it goes down here, through the trapdoor, and into the pond. Nice and tidy, it's got the rest of the carpet to put down. This base unit is 8 to 10 inch of gravel from the whole floor and underneath that shed. That shed is 18 foot by 8 foot. That's also got about 6, 8 inch of gravel underneath and then some breeze blocks on there it tops in between with gravel and under here there's six inch of concrete with a uh, little drain just there under the wood and that's the drain for the filters and the water overflow etc goes down to the drain which is a natural soak away there's plenty of land at the back that uh, goes down so all the water that I use for the pond, any that comes out from the clean etc any that comes out of the pond goes down the soak away so I don't use the public services this room sits at about 17 degrees all year round it is insulated with some uh, uh, king span in between the, the panels and of course the natural heat from the water means it's currently it's about 24 degrees in here nice get away from the wife at times this is the next project it's a little upgrade on the ball cock system because sometimes the ball can stick 
so we've got a not sure whether to use a plunger type float level or that one but that will basically connect via the contact to there and allow water in from the valve so that will fit in there fit from there fit in there anybody got any questions please ask ask in the comments below it's quite simple I might have missed something I might have overdone something but please comment give me your thoughts thanks for following me on YouTube and if you enjoyed the videos that I put up please subscribe hit the like button Ask some comments on the bottom tell me I've done right tell me I've done wrong ask a question uh, and without the questions we don't learn so enjoy Happy Ponding, see you soon.